Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 Probots AI cast. We have got ourselves what should be an epic match here to dive back into it. I know it's been a little bit since I've been able to commentate one of these as uh, sadly uh, I've been, been a little bit under the weather and that makes commentating hard and then I've been working lots and lots so I'm glad to be able to uh, sit down and do one of these videos the day before I'm having my uh, jaw wired shut so <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do too many videos in the immediate future but I promise you I will keep doing these bot matches whenever I can so make sure to slap that like button hit that subscribe and leave a comment saying more bots as we've got dad bot taking on Ender in the bottom left. So, two Zerg bots going to be playing each other in a ZVZ. I imagine we're going to see some roaches cuz that's what these uh that's what these buggy boys like. And the roach micro definitely is a treat. We've seen some real cool moves from some of these bots as we watch these two drones dig into each other, namely the blue drone being the prey of the red drone as Ender does indeed have some scouting behavior programmed in, while Dadbot is not scouting. Interestingly enough, the Enderbot has taken the third base for its natural. I don't believe that's because it was blocked, as there was no scout, so it's just a, just a stylistic thing, I suppose. Uh, I wonder if that is to try and mess up the other bots. By Ender. Anyway, we've got a Roach Warren on the way now. I'm just gonna check the sound a little bit. Boop, boop, boo. Turn that up a little bit. Turn that down a tiny bit. Okay. Always looking for feedback on the sound, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, we have got a Roach Warren coming on up for Ender. And then six Lings on the way for Dadbot. So. Dadbot playing more traditional. Ender, the roachy bot, known for making a lot of roaches. And we do see Dadbot saying, tag, one base. So, and the programmer of Ender did make a wise move by not taking its natural. Now Dadbot's going to be panicking a little bit. All the while, Ender does indeed have a natural base. And we even see the author of Dadbot programmed one base. You don't like macro games, do you? No, it's a trick. And so, let's see here. Burrow is now on the way for Ender. No roaches have been produced by the blue bot. However, having Burrow is going to allow it to keep those roaches alive as long as there's no overseer. Now, of course, overseers are very possible for Zergs to make once they've got the lair. That doesn't mean the bot authors put in the work to make it so that the roaches are detected perfectly. And so we'll see if that's going to be a big factor in this ZVZ or not. It very well can be. Okay, and so... Let's see. Creep's starting to spread for Ender. We see these lings are kind of running in for Dadbot. Uh, interestingly enough that it tagged that Ender was one basing, but then it sends in the Zerglings. Looks like its ling speed is finished up, but it didn't... Oh, it actually killed a few drones, so it committed more to that attack than I thought it would. So, Dadbot put on a little bit of pressure, killed a few dr killed a few drones, but is still behind workers itself. Okay, and let's see here. We have got... Yeah, those roaches doing their thing, just being produced. Ender squeezing out a few more drones than Dadbot. Dadbot's committing to Ravagers, tagging Bile. These two two armies are engaging in the center of the map here. I suppose Dadbot may be using that uh, Ravager option as a way to deal with as a way to deal with uh, with uh, roaches potentially dying, keep them alive. Just reading that chat there. Tag invisible attacks, burrow strategy. I think I might steal this. Do you think I cannot make an overseer? Okay, so Dadbot is uh, 
It's talking a little bit of trash, saying, oh, I just need to make an Overseer. We'll see if it actually does or not, as it doesn't have a lair yet. And it's actually really, really far behind on drones. Dadbot has just been making units here, and it's got half the workers of Ender. That is not good. Of course, it's got a little bit more army supply, but Dadbot is going to need to get some damage done. It does have the third base on the way, but now Ender fires up its own. And... That is not going to overcome the 20 worker difference, so there should be a lot more units being produced by Ender. So far, Ender is losing some units on its side of the map. It's got a roach that just unburrows, like, surprise! Okay, I'm going back underground. We'll see if that guy's going to unburrow. Anyway, the third is now up for Ender, continuing its outward expansion, interestingly enough. Creeps starting to spread all over the place still. Baneling Nest on the way for Ender. And the blue bot has now overtaken the red bot in army supply. So no need to worry too much about a big counterattack, that sort of stuff. One Roach versus one Ravager. Who wins? Looks like the Ravager with its extra range is doing pretty good. Uh, micro, micro, micro. Oh no, Zerglings that are not busy with that Ravager. Okay, so Ender looking to move across the map, going for its, a counterattack. Both sides are even on supply. Ender's firing up extra hatcheries too, so going to be expanding all over the place. That Ravager does get taken down. And let's see, in goes the blue bot. Wings being worked on. Okay, these Ravagers are getting getting a lot of value done as Ender is completely shut back there. Look at that, Dadbot even remembering where the burrowed roaches are and tossing down corrosive vials. Looks like there is an overseer there, so Dadbot after its after its uh, trash talk does bring over the overseer. Should be able to kill off those burrowed units. However, its overseer behavior. There we go, it does see that roach, so that's good to see. Queen runs, or Roach runs into the main base of Dadbot, however a Ravager and a Queen are on it. That Roach just burrows to, to save its neck. Now we've got Burrow on the way for Dadbot too. And uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you do enjoy this type of content, consider becoming a YouTube member as a great way to support the channel, get various perks, join the Discord. Look at this, this one Roach. Getting a lot of efficiency there. Corrosive Biles are dropping all over the place. It does get taken out by the Bile. However, that uh, that Burrow got a lot of efficiency there, forcing Dadbot to burrow its own drones. Okay, Dadbot still behind on workers by quite a huge margin, down on supply as a result. Ender up to four bases, five bases, or the fifth base on the way, actually. Pardon me. I apologize. If I do uh, sound like I've got a bit of a frog in my throat, it's that combination of being sick and then just having uh, having woken up. You know, you got the groggy morning voice, and then you're like, "All right, it's time to commentate some StarCraft." Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, that's the case more often than I'd like, because uh, it is a nice way to start the day. Now, Cross the Bile's hitting some of Dadbot's own units. We see both these Zerg bots making lots of units. Aspire is now on the way for Ender. That's good to see. Uh, I mean, Mutas can be a big deal if Dadbot doesn't make any anti-air. Both both bots hit 65 drones. That seems to be the desired number. Let's see, four roaches to 11. There's Banelings as well. So Ender definitely with the bigger army. Dadbot, however, is getting up its... Uh, Getting up its own research. We saw a scout for Dadbot go in. See the Spire. It's got a reaction tag for that thing. Tag air, so it should have some anti-air. Ender's actually attacking this fourth base for Dadbot and actually cancels it. Losing a lot of units in the process, but getting the fourth is quite a nice blow. It's going to continue the attack despite being outnumbered, it appears here. The Ravagers for Dadbot have been getting some real good efficiency. Now, let's see here. Five spore crawlers on the way for Ender, so it likes its static defense. And we've got just it's we're starting to reach that point in the game in which units are running all over the place.
Oh, apologies. That's my alarm to get up. I am officially the worst commentator ever. Okay, Neural Parasite on the way now. So that's going to be a tech option. I don't think we'll see too much of that in a ZVZ. Anyway, we've definitely seen some good Neural Parasite in, uh, in ZVTs, that sort of thing. And ZVPs, actually. Lots of Lings on the way for Ender, potentially a Ling counterattack. But if we take a look at the bases, it's currently seven bases to a fourth that's just going up for dad bot so things are really lo really looking good for the blue bot okay let's see there's that baneling nest on the way hatchery going on up let's see two one starts for dad bot so it is gonna have the upgrade lead enders getting all sorts of other tech and stuff but really so are both bots uh the basic attack and defense so you definitely can't go wrong with on these grand scale trades that these bots have enders up and workers dad bot however still has 77 so it's got a decent number really saturating that base up now that it's got it really making use of these ravagers still currently got Oh, eight Ravagers to its name. Dadbot's also going for an Infestor, so some fungal fungal growth corrosive bile plays. Going to be an option. In comes Ender. No Baneling speed just yet. Both of these Banelings are going to charge right on in. Eating lots of corrosive Biles on the roaches. Only really one or two of those Banelings get connections. Then Dadbot gets some of its own Baneling connections on the Ravagers of Ender as both of these bots are just bringing it to each other, or I guess Ender bringing it to Dadbot, but... I mean, looks like Dadbot is uh, using its dad's strength to hold off Ender here. While this is going on, however, there's been a counterattack, a one-two punch from Ender. Great programming there as Lings run into the natural base. They do have the plus one attack on the way as well. So while Ender's held off on the on the front, it looks like it's getting some damage done. Harassed in the natural base. Not too many drones killed, I think. I mean, 28 have died this entire game. But still... A great move there by Ender. It's got a lot, a lot of money in the bank, a very high economy, so it should be able to replace these units. We've got uh, Dadbot spamming out tags all over the place saying, tag explode, fungal, Zerg ground armor. So Dadbot really showing us its programming as that burrowed baneling, I think, detonated on some of those units, but Ender is being pushed back here. Dadbot's army is grouped up much better than the blue bots. And Ender hold on, or is Dadbot going to push across the map and potentially get some big damage done? Corrosive Bile's getting tossed down on both sides. So far, though, it's looking pretty darn good for Dadbot. The resources lost really in favor for the Red Zerg. That looks like uh, that was a Spore or a Spine or something that died. However, the bases for Ender are still mainly unaffected by this attack. We see... Uh, contaminate tag being used. I wonder what building got contaminated. Uh, maybe an Evo? No Evos. We'll see. Uh, it could have been on a creep tumor. We have seen that bug with the overseers. Dadbot's attack has seemed to have fallen off a little bit as it's only got a few units out on the map. Ender's rebuilt. Army supply is in favor for Ender. Dadbot's now getting Vipers, getting better upgrades going though, so it should continue this trend of better efficiency. And as long as it doesn't die, better efficiency will uh, hold out in the long run. Crossbow annihilates a Hydralis there. The unit control for Dadbot seems to be pretty darn good, burrowing those injured roaches, pulling them back. However, it is honestly just a bloodbath all over the place. Dadbot now holding this position once more. We see units hitting the natural base, however. Ender getting some good damage done there. The attempted fifth base is under fire by a Ravager and a Roach. Corrosive still going down all over the place. It looks like Dadbot's in a little bit of trouble here. I mean, it's so hard to tell how a fight's actually going to go here. Like, it looks like Dadbot's in a bit of trouble, but it is holding on. It's got more of an army. It lost a lot of drones, I'll say. I mean, it's down like 20 drones. Oh no, Dadbot with a major bug here. This queen is blocking in so many of its units in its main base. That is a big problem. Uh, falling falling victim to its own Sim City. And this is a total wall on these units. Oh no, what a disaster for Dadbot. Not the 
not the sort of thing a Zerg bot author thinks of as, uh, like, I mean, if you play Terran, you're probably like, yeah, I could accidentally wall my units in, maybe it's Protoss. As a Zerg, you don't think about that too much, but Dadbot gonna have to review its building placement a little bit. Uh, I don't think these units are gonna get out till the end of the game, probably. And that is a massive disaster, isn't it? It's just gonna keep making more and more units, it looks like. I think at some point the StarCraft II engine says no, that unit can't actually build. Much like a Thor out of a full factory, or some of the units may pop out on other sides. There's an attack going on on the, on the front here, but I'm actually curious, will these units pop out? Yeah, they're pop- okay, they're, some of them are popping out, but it's very much a full house there. So Dad bought down probably like 20 supply because of that. So it's got the bigger army supply, but it does not have the bigger fighting supply. We see a random drone in an overlord getting moved across the map. Uh, I think there's a little bit of confusion there by Ender. I wonder if it thinks that's the Baneling. I do not know. Corruptors are now on the way for Ender. So Dadbot in a bit of trouble. It's got a Lurker to try and defend the space, but it's taken so much damage this game. Dadbot's keeping the better upgrades going. It's got out a lot of Vipers, which is nice. It's consuming everything. It really needs to consume one of those Evos to let those units out. But, uh... Yeah, things aren't looking too good here. Transfuse goes down on that hatchery, giving it some more HP, but Dadbot's in a world of trouble. It's still been trading well, better than Ender, but I don't know if that's going to be good enough. So if this wasn't happening, we imagine Dadbot would be doing a lot, a lot better. How many units are in there? Oh my gosh, there's like 10, 12, no, that's uh, 10 drones in there, and then, then about... Uh, 14 fighting units. That is just a disaster. <laughs> if Ender does win this game and eventually goes to clear up Dad's bot space, Dad bot's gonna have that in its back pocket. Eventually get those units freed out. We see a Broodlord on the way here for Ender. And so transitioning into those air units. Dad bot building up another hatchery. Slowly expanding, all the while Ender's trying to take all the bases. Uh, was even trying to take this one. And Hydra doing a goofy little run. Dadbot now pushing down towards the bottom right. There is a Contaminate on the Spine Crawler. I don't believe that does everything. It, oh, it was Blinding Clouded. Wait, Blinding Cloud affects Spine Crawlers? No way. You learn something new every day. I'm not sure what Contaminate does to it. Maybe makes it so it can't burrow and unburrow. Dadbot getting some good unit catches as Ender elected to go in here. It broke this hatchery. It's got the one Broodlord there, so Dadbot's going to have a hard time cleaning this up. Uh, that Broodlord will cause problems. We have seen Zerg bots overcome Broodlords in the past, though, without the use of, of its own air units. So we'll see. Raptors go in. Crossbow's going down. We'll see if there's going to be a connection on that Broodlord. Most of the Grand Army has been taken care of, so... Then it really will just be dealing with this one Broodlord. And is it going to be dealt with? Because even Hydra's being produced too. The Hydra can work on that Broodlord too, potentially. Dadbot's got the space going up in the top left. That's good to see, so it's not running out of gas just yet. As this ZVZ goes into the 18 minute mark. Dadbot still has got units glitching out in here. We do see Consume going down on these buildings. Two Vipers eating that Baning Nest, but a Corrosive Ball randomly gets tossed down. Not sure what that was at. Uh, these Vipers could be the MVP and potentially free. Are they going to be free, or is the Queen going to transfuse that Baneling Nest? Yeah, I think the Baneling Nest is being transfused. That's programming gone wrong. And if Dadbot's a good programmer, you imagine that he programmed him not to kill his own units. Yeah, and it actually is switching up the buildings. That's tragic. It's never going to be free. Okay, let's see here. The Broodlord now and a couple Infestors and a Lurker push towards the top left. So this base is in trouble. It looks like Dadbot is running out of steam. A big fungal growth went down on Dadbot's army there. It is getting some good damage done, however, it's just too far behind, I think, as it's unable to free out free these units. Uh, Dadbot's programmer has got to be kicking himself a little bit. I mean, Dadbot's been putting up a good fight, but it's like fighting with one arm tied behind your back. That's like 20, 30 army supply, not fighting. 
the efficiency of Dadbot has still been pretty darn high. I mean, I think that's turning around as we see Ender make Brood Lords and Infestors and whatnot, but... Still, Dadbot fighting, as all AI does, they fight to the bitter end. A human would have potentially given up a long time ago, but then again, a human probably would have fixed this. I mean, I've taken some time to find trapped units when I'm playing a game of StarCraft 2. I'll be like, oh, where's all my stuff? And then two minutes later, or maybe even sometimes like five minutes later, I'll be like, oh, three Thors and two tanks are stuck in my main base. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think Dadbot's ever going to have that self-awareness. Lots of Corruptors just guarding this one Broodlord homie here. Dadbot losing one of its last ma mining bases. I mean, it is getting this base up to the top right, but I don't know if it's going to be able to win this fight here as uh, Ender's coming on in once more. Here's a, in a, here's an engagement. Drone's even being pulled into this fight. It looks like there's the Ravagers. There's the Hydras stepping up. Cross Vows can be used. There's a Fungal from Ender. The one Broodlord is the threat here. There's a lot of Cross Vows going down. Looks like Ender is dodging them for the most part. Hydras are shooting away on that Broodlord. A couple more are being attempted to morph, but they're just going to die in the... die in the... cocoon there. Let's see. Four more blue Broodlords are going up for Ender. However, some of them are popping before they pop. Pop, getting pop before they pop. Anyway, now we see Dadbot still holding on, still fighting the good fight. It somehow saved this hatchery. It's got this base to the right side, which is still mining a little bit. Although it's down to 49 drones, Dadbot is a fighter. Hanging on in there. We're going to eventually see these units get released. I really hope Dadbot doesn't GG before those units are released, because I know some of these bots do GG. Now let's take a look here. We've got the upgrades catching up for Ender as it's getting 3-3 three, three for its ground units, for its flyers. There's lots of creep tumors all over the map. How many creep tumors play that guessing game? I'm gonna wait. I, I didn't guess. I'm gonna say looking at all these tumors. I'm gonna go ahead and say that there's probably 489. Ah, 596. Okay, I was off by 100. Anyway, now we're seeing a big engagement go on at the front as Ender went in once more. Can Dadbot muster the Dad strength to hold on here? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't have an Overseer, so it's sitting on top of that Lurker. There comes an Overseer, so that Lurker does get taken care of now. The problem is there's more than one Broodlord here. There's multiple Broodlords, and so I think Ender's been able to do it, and I'm definitely going to have to catch a rematch, cast a rematch between these bots, because uh, if Dadbot doesn't do this, it's a completely different game. As I believe there's even more units in here than there was before. It's just how many how many units can you fit in like a 2x6 square in StarCraft 2? The answer is a lot. Okay. We see these uh, bots cruising at that pretty high APM. But yeah, it's, it's been a slow death for Dadbot. This is StarCraft 2 games. I hope you guys enjoyed this cast. Uh, yes, uh, it'll be a little bit before I post regularly on the channel again. I always post these videos whenever I can, but I work like uh, 70 hours a week sometimes. So it does not leave a lot of free time for the StarCraft. And, but once I'm back in uh, shape after having my jaw broken, to finish up my orthodontic treatment, then I'll get my braces off at some point. I'll be full-on casting machine and uh yeah let's take a look as ender is slowly going for the victory hit that like button if you guys haven't already subscribe join the discord all that good stuff his dad bot is a fighter but yeah no overcoming the brood lords i feel like we've seen a game like this before in which uh zerg bots can have some success against the odd brood lord here and there without making anything else but uh when there's multiple Broodlords. It's just not just not doable. Units are still stuck in here, and we shall wait to see when they get freed. Okay. <laughs> the units are defending the main base. Shooting away at those Corruptors there. Gross Vile's going down all over the place now. 
trying to hit some of those units. Are they going to be freed? No, unfortunately, they're just going to be killed in their pocket. First, the Raven. Oh, that fungal! No way! <laughs> Ender is a savage. Oh, that was disgusting. Oh man, that is that is horrible. That was that was so beautiful. Uh, <laughs> what a way to end it. As Ender poetically takes the final bases. <laughs>